Hey everybody, we're still in Thailand and it looks like a lot of projects were saving their big announcements for this week because I come back to my workstation to see that one of the Yakubs from Hydration is showing off the first of three referenda to open the money markets on Polkadot's primary DeFi roll-up. Now I did tell you on the last Friday news pump that the Coos does have access to the testnet and today I'm going to show you how to long Dot. So the hydration dApp looks pretty much the same, but we do have this new lending tab here. And these are all just testnet tokens. But if we go over to the markets tab, we can see the state of lending and borrowing on the testnet here. Uh, for each of these whitelisted assets, we can see the APY that we could earn by supplying assets, so lending assets. And then we see the APY we would have to pay for borrowing. So it looks like we have a low APY for borrowing USDC and a super high APY for lending wrapped ETH, but also fairly high for it lending DOT and USDT. But let's lend our DOT and wrapped ETH for this example here. We're gonna go ahead over to my dashboard and we're gonna supply the wrapped ETH. Let's supply two. Beautiful, and then you can see the collateral up here. We're also gonna supply a big chunk of our dot. Let's supply 2,000 of our dot. Great, and because we're only on the supply side, we don't have a health factor indication here, but that's gonna change once we borrow assets. So we're gonna go and borrow that USDC for 2.9%. Let's borrow the maximum amount of USDC. So it looks like we cleaned the market out for USDC there. There's only uh, 22 USDC remaining, but I think we get the point. We can now go over to the swap. Let's swap the maximum amount for DOT. We're gonna come down here and swap. Heading back over to lending, you can now see that if we wanted, we had more DOT to supply. So let's go in and we can lever it up all over again. Supply DOT. You can see that the more collateral we provide, the higher our health factor. If your risk score hits one, you get liquidated. So you can see we're pretty fresh here. But also because we clean the market out of USDC, our APY, the cost of borrowing the asset, has actually shot way up. There's no more USDC to borrow here, so why don't we go in and borrow as much USDT as we can. We're gonna max out the borrow, which is, as you can see, is gonna bring down our health factor to just under six. And here we go, the APY for borrowing all that USDT in the market is 88.6%, but because of the funny market of this test net, uh, that massive, APY we're earning for lending the wrapped ETH is actually bringing our net APY to 107% at the moment. Let's uh, head over into trading. And this time we're gonna swap our USDT for DOT. And look at that. Another 5,000 or so DOT due to the risk we're willing to take on. Now it is important to realize that should the price of DOT and wrapped ETH plummet, we would be at risk of having our assets wiped out. But there's a preview look at the money market. Be very, very careful when the money market is live. We're kind of playing on the back of a simulated market where other testers have been messing around, but looks pretty cool.